Welcome to Cloud Klein. Hi and welcome to Cloud Klein. Today I'd like to show you Football Manager 2019 Beta um, using my Galaxy Note 8 on my Samsung DeX with my Shadow Cloud PC. Um, the first thing I'm going to do on my DeX is I'm going to show you what my current Wi-Fi or internet connection is. So we're going to run that test now. I usually find my connection sits between 30 and 40 um, since I made some changes. Okay, so it's 34 at the moment in download speeds. And in upload. 11.7. Okay, so now I'm going to go straight into my shadow PC and we'll open that up in full screen. And I'm going to load the game. So it's nice and quick. Obviously, this is just on my phone. Um, I have played Football Manager 2019 and 18 uh, just on my phone using the Shadow app. And I found with the S Pen, um, it was definitely playable. It's because of the screen size, even with, even with a 6.3 inch screen size on the Galaxy Note 8, um, it's difficult, it's intricate, um, sort of, you know, going into the detail. There will be a few times where you're trying to change players in your squad, sort of bring players from the bench on, that kind of thing. Um, and it's it's tricky to do on the on the phone because it keeps losing uh, its, its touch and things. Um, if you've got a mouse connected with your USB-C adapter um, that gets provided with most of the Galaxy phones now, um, that will be better. Okay. Um, and I've found as well, I've, I've used it on my mobile data, the Shadow PC app. Um, and I found that it was using maybe 40 megabytes of data every minute, approximately. So if you are, you know, I'm on an unlimited data plan, so I'm lucky enough, I don't have to worry about that. But uh, if you do have a capped plan, then that's something to bear in mind because you don't want to be going over your allowance there. Um, what I'm going to show you, um, so this is me. I'm going to show you a career. I'm going to show you how many leagues um, I can set up on the Shadow PC and it will give us a rating. So I'm just gonna move my face a minute so I can see what's happening. So you can see in the top right of the of the screen there, it's giving us an estimated game speed. Now this is based on what I've, I've got a current save uh, with Arsenal going and I think these are pretty much the specs I used. I wanted down all the way to the north and south as playable. Um, I'm just going to show you what happens if I select everything uh, or not everything. Let's just go with, you can see what I selected at the moment. Uh, let's try and load some other leagues as well. Let's go Poland, Iceland, Austria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Wales, Switzerland, and we got Malaysia, Indonesia, China. Okay, let's just see. I'm going to click confirm and let's just see what happens. So we're at a two estimated gain speed, two stars, uh, with all of those playable. Um, that's with a database of 62,490. Um, so just to give you an idea, um, Maybe I should be building this up. So if I just start with, and I think you can see already that's five stars just with two leagues. So most common, I, I guess, for English players anyway, you're going to want the French, German, um, Dutch, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, Scottish, they're probably the least you're going to want to do because you're, I presume, most likely to manage a top team in England in the Premier League. Um, you'll want more sort of European leagues around because that's where you're going to be buying and selling most of your players. Um, so I'm going to click confirm on that. So you can see all of those leagues are playable. 
and it's all of the divisions pretty much. If I select every division from all of that selection, you can see how it's affecting that. There we go. So from those nations, we're getting a three star game rating, which is brilliant. Uh, and that's on a large database size. We can obviously go into more detail if we want to. Um, but I think that's that's just brilliant. Um, it's really, really good. I'm not going to start this game. I'm going to load my save game. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how that looks on a on a shadow PC. So if I load my my game. I said I'm with Arsenal and I'm going to in this game I think I'm about to play in a League Cup game against Bolton so I'll show you some in-game in-game details there you can have a look <clears throat> in fact what I can do I'd quite like to show you my last game um, sorry to all the Tottenham fans out there um, this is my season so far. So I started the league, I scraped a 3-2 win against Bournemouth. I won 2-0 against Watford. Then I had a difficult run of Liverpool. It was 3-0 down at half time in that game. 3-0 down at half time in that game. And came, well, managed to score two late goals, but it wasn't enough. Um, you can see here. This is the information it's giving on the game. Like I said, this is just the beta version. Um, Chelsea, I lost 1-0 against 10 men, Chelsea. Uh, they had a player sent off early, uh, oh no, second half, 57 minutes, and that wasn't enough. And then I lost to Man City 1-0 again, so quite close. I'm only losing to them by one goal. Um, but then it seemed that we played Slavia Prague 1-3-0 and then somehow I didn't I really didn't see this result coming. I managed to beat Tottenham 4-0, which was uh which is brilliant. So I'll just show you the the goals here. We can just click on watch goals and this will give you some sort of insight into the match match graphics and everything. Okay. Here we go and I'm going to try turn sound on. I don't think I've got Oh, I must have sound turned off at the moment. Um, but this is the detail. You can see at the moment, obviously this could change further into the, in the final, final release. This is just the beta. But it gives you an idea of the graphics and how it all looks. In fact, I'm going to go and play a game because I'm not convinced from memory. I thought it looked better than that. And I wonder if that's because it's a replay. So let's get into a game. Like I said, I've got Bolton coming up. Shouldn't take long. I'm going to jump straight in. I should rest some players really, but we want to. We don't want to keep you hanging around too long. So um, we'll be playing a strong team. Some minimal changes. Okay, here we go. Match preview against Bolton. So, team selection. So, okay, we've got some fitness concerns. Maitland Niles has been playing really well with me, so I want to give him a game, especially in the League Cup. Uh, we're going to rest Xhaka. Emil Smith Rowe can definitely come in for Danny Welbeck. Danny Welbeck, however, can play as a striker. Lichtensteiner on for Bellerin. Monreal for Kalasinac. Also like to keep playing Socrates because he hasn't been playing very well. I'd like to give Mavroponos a go. Mavroponos. And Bernd Leno was out of favour recently. I I think Petrchek's going to be our number one. And that'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay, so I'm going to submit my team. Okay, we've got sound 80 in game. We've got sound. So you can see I've got all the faces there. 
and that's it team talk let's go assertive I expect nothing but a win from this match that's all I'm going to be doing so you can see this is how it's looking Definitely um, can see the difference in the match engine on this one compared to the last one. It seems like your tactics definitely you can see see it all happening on the pitch. Nearly scored. I'm playing kind of a tick attacker kind of play, so I want nice short passing and attacking intent. Moving the ball quickly. Oh, good tackle. It does look quite similar actually to when I showed you the the highlights um, from the Tottenham game. It actually does look the same. Um, obviously the only difference is I've got sound on here. Okay. So if you have any um, questions, please do leave them in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed watching this, please do like and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.